Hello, my name is Maria Miller from MathMammoth.com. In this video, we're going to study converting customary measuring units. I wrote the major customary measuring units here with the conversion factors. As a reminder, for example, inch and foot. This 12 means that there's 12 inches in a foot. And then 3 feet would make a yard, and then 1760 yards would make a mile. Okay? And you're already familiar with these, so I'm not going to go into detail with them now. Instead, we're going to practice some of these conversions between units. And whenever you are converting between two units, such as between pounds and ounces, then the conversion factor is this, 16. You just have to decide whether you will multiply by it or divide by it. And think of it this way. Let's say, for example, that these ounces here, they are these kind of ounces here, and if you want to change them to pounds, there's lots of these little ounces. An ounce is a little unit and you have lots of them. So when you get your number here, will this number need to be a smaller number or a bigger number than this? Pounds are bigger units, so you need fewer of them, right? So you need a smaller number here. Therefore, you will divide by 16. And that reasoning will always work, okay? Whenever you're changing between two units, Think whether you will need a bigger or smaller number. Then that will tell you whether you need to multiply or divide. And then if you are going, for example, from inches to yards, then your conversion factor would be multiplied here. 3 times 12 would be 36. Or if you go from ounces to quarts, then your conversion factor would be 8 times 2 times 2, or 32. Okay, let's get started and we will use a calculator here. I will use a calculator to multiply or divide, and we already decided here we need to divide from ounces to pounds. So I will take this 4250 and divide that by 16. Of course I will get the decimal number here, it is 265.625 pounds. Now I will also convert this to short tons, and as you see those 2000 pounds would make a ton. This is not even one ton, right? So this number here will be less than one. Again, I will divide it by 2000, okay? I will get zero point. Okay, it's a long decimal number. I need to round it. So I'll round it to four decimals here. 0 0.1328 tons. And of course, you probably wouldn't give that kind of amount in tons. But this is how the conversion goes. 4.15 miles into feet. Now miles and feet are here. So my conversion factor, you might even remember, it is 5280. And I either multiply or divide by it. Do I want to have a bigger number here or a smaller number? Smaller than 4, bigger than 4? I want to have a bigger number, you know, lots and lots of feet. So I will multiply 4.15 times 5,280 and we will get 21,912. Now, if I go from feet to inches, inches are even smaller units. I need even more of them. I need to still multiply this by 12. So this is now 262,944 inches. And obviously the most reasonable way to give this distance would be in miles. Now 17.8 gallons into ounces. Gallons into ounces. Look, what is our conversion factor first of all? It would be 8 times 2 times 2 times 4. Okay, that is 8 times 4 is 32 times 4 is 128. From here to here is 128, so I need to take this number and multiply or divide by 128. Which one? Ounces are the small units, right? So you need lots of them. We need to multiply to get the bigger number. And this is 2278.4 ounces. Now from feet to miles. Feet are smaller units, miles are big units. We need fewer of them, so from here to here we will divide feet and miles. Again, it is the 5,280 factor. So 22,800 divided by 5,280 would be 
one eight one eight one eight actually repeats, but I'll just round it to that. Here we have thirty seven cups into gallons, quarts, and cups. That's always a little tricky when you're not gonna give this as whole gallons. It would be easy if we just went from cups to some decimal number of gallons, but instead we need to give it as whole gallons, whole quarts, and whole cups. So let me go step by step instead of just rushing from cups to gallons. I'll just go from cups to pints first. The conversion factor is 2. Pints are bigger units. I need fewer of them, so I will divide. 37 cups would be... And 36 cups would be exactly 18 pints. And then there's one cup left over. I need to sort of keep, my, keep track of my remainders here when I divide. So many pints. And now that into quarts. There's two pints in each quart. So this would make exactly nine quarts, wouldn't it? Nine quarts. And then the one cup is still there. And now from quarts to gallons. Nine quarts. How many gallons will it make if I need four quarts per gallon? This would make exactly two gallons, wouldn't it? And two gallons is eight quarts. So there's one quart left over, and then this leftover cup there too. That way. 